Hey guys, Dr. Matt here, and today I am with a very special and amazing human being, Cosette. Thank you so much for coming in here today. What I wanted to do was get Cosette in here and have her share her story. Cosette, as we refer to her internally, is an OG of Rev. She's been here for about five years, has it been yeah. now, getting adjusted. Yeah. And she has a really remarkable story and a really powerful story that I wanted her to share with our community. And Cosette, I'd love to hear from you and for you to share with everyone. What has your journey been like here at Rev? Where were you when you first came in, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and where are you today and what's been the process for you? Yeah, so <clears throat> it has been a very profound journey for me. Um, essentially, I came from a place where I was constantly under the gun of fight or flight. Um, I was in the throes of panic disorder, had been for many years. Um, was battling with like chronic fatigue, not feeling well. And I had just, I was trying to find my answer. So that's kind of, I feel like that desires what led me to what you all do, how I discovered you all. But I essentially went from being housebound with panic disorder. There was a stretch of about 30 days where I couldn't leave my house because I would just be in a constant state of panic. And so from there to where I'm at now, I am like a new person. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember almost five years ago, you started this process. We did the initial and about a month in, one of the biggest things I think you told me was that Matt, I went out for a hike today. Yes. And I'm just like, I remember reading the text. I think it was a text message. And I said, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, awesome. And then, or then when I saw you, you shared, no, no, you don't understand. I have not been able to get out of my house and do that. What were, if you can remember, what were some of the feelings, emotions, and things that you went through in the very beginning of this healing process. Was it smooth sailing the entire way or were there some ups, downs, bumps, bruises along the way? Definitely ups and downs, <laughs> definitely. I knew that answer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> but like you say, you know, trust the process. Mm -hmm. And because I was starting to get results from my time in here, I felt comfortable enough to trust the process. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I remember like it was yesterday, that hike that you're talking about. Um, I, I had gone from <clears throat> being housebound with panic and just the feeling, the sensation of my heart rate getting up, any at all, would just shut me down. Mm -hmm. And so to go from that to heading to Cloudland Canyon, going to the bottom of the canyon and being comfortable in my body, feeling that heart rate getting up and feeling confidence mm -hmm. because of it rather than fear was a game changer, life changing for me. That's so amazing. I love it. I love it. Um, something that we share with people, you know, we're chiropractors by license. So, so many people will come to us when they're in a disempowered state, right? They have pain, anxiety, depression. Um, and we obviously want people to, for that stuff to go away. But what you just shared is exactly the message that we're trying to share more of. It's that when that stuff goes away, you get to not only show up as a better version of yourselves, but you get to do more things that you truly, truly love to do. So it has been an honor working with you and continue to work with you. And I guess I'd love one last question for you is to share with people what has been the biggest aha moment for you and what is it that you're implementing in your life now that's continuing to cause the growth? And I know your backstory. I know the five years you've gone through and yeah. everyone's gone through ups and downs, but now you're kind of hitting this stride where more things are coming. Like, what do you want to share with people? Like, what have you learned along the way through this integration process? I have learned that I am way more limitless mm. than I could have ever have imagined. Um, I, you know, I went from that place of just being in a disempowered, sick, feeble kind of a state to optimal living. Like you guys, that's what you do is the optimal living. And so, you know, I've done solo travel to Istanbul. I'm about to release my first book. Um, just 
really big, profound changes in my mind, body, and emotions. Oh my gosh, well, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you <laughs> found us so many years ago. And I'm so excited. You know, I say this to people one month in, three months in, 12 months in, two years in, this journey is just beginning. There's no yeah. limit to optimal health, optimal living. And as we continue to integrate, continue to grow, continue to heal, we expand ourselves and share our message of love, light, healing, whatever it may be that's inside of you when we sing that song to the rest of the world. So yeah. is that you're singing, girl, and I love it. Yes. And I'm so excited to see what happens. So <laughs> thank you so much for sharing this with our community yeah. and the entire Chattanooga community and everyone else around. Well, thank you. Thank you for being at the fore of this. I know you often say, you know, it's us, you know, we're doing the processing, but you're leading the way. And I'm thankful because you guys are an incredible light in the darkness. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>